Hi, I'm Mark Sherston. I teach philosophy here at Siena Heights University. I am, in fact, the chair of the philosophy department. Um, I'm also uh, currently the chair of the humanities division. Philosophy at Siena Heights is a, what we call a service program. Most of our students are majoring in other areas. All students at Siena are required to take one, at least one course in philosophy. We do have a small number of majors. We probably graduate maybe one or two a year. So at any one time, I've got maybe a half a dozen students who are my upper level students who are more familiar with philosophy. Every semester I teach a, a section of our logic class, a basic reasoning class, which is good for any student. Uh, hopefully students will be better arguers when they write papers for their other classes. Um, but what really makes my heart beat fast is teaching the intro courses um, where we raise the big questions about the meaning of life, the existence of God, you know, the relationship between the mind and the brain, uh, kind of the perennial issues that philosophers since Socrates and Plato and Aristotle have been asking. I try to run my classes uh, on a discussion format. Um, I will have my students uh, read five to ten pages of usually primary source material. I like for them to read the philosophers themselves in their own words. Um, and then we will explore the questions and issues that the philosophers have addressed. So we have a series called the Aquinas Forum where we bring people in from the outside to speak on on topical issues, not narrow esoteric philosophical questions, but questions that appeal to a broad range of of interest no matter what your discipline. The downside of that is sometimes we take an interest in their and how well they're doing and if they're missing class uh, a few times in a row we'll frequently give them a call uh, or call their advisor, keep tabs on them. Um, so it's very hard to maintain anonymity um, as a student at Siena. You're definitely part of a, of a family and a community. If you are considering um, enrolling at Siena, I would certainly encourage you to um, carefully look through all of our promotional materials, um, visit our website, but most importantly, make a campus visit. Find a, a, an educational environment that you're comfortable in. So I encourage a campus visit, meet as many people as you can. Um, I frequently meet with high school students on their campus visits. I would encourage you to to meet with several professors in the areas that you might be interested in. Our admissions program will set that up. Um, have a meal in our uh, cafeteria um, and get you know as much of a feel for campus life as you can on your campus visit. And, and make your decision not just with your head but with your heart.